Hello everybody in the Solar Gamer and welcome back to Civilization 6 as the Aztecs. Welcome back to the Siege of Birmingham. We have finally almost made it to the city. Yeah, almost. I mean, we're landed over here. We're landing over here next turn. Uh, we have most of our guys around the city right now. We're just moving in these, uh, these swordsmen and then this catapult, which is the most important part of the siege. Uh, now, sadly... Well, we can put the catapult over here, but the problem is that they have a lot of units over here, so I'm going to have to have somebody defend him. And I'm not sure I like doing that, but, I mean, I really have no choice. Let's see, if we move you there, move you here, and there, that leaves up these two spots. Have you there. Yeah, so we will have one guy that's not in battle, but, that, you know, that's fine. Um, we should be able to take it, no matter what, uh, with what we have, so... That is okay. Also, over here, we are cleaning up the rest of these barbarians, which they might, in fact, clean up one of my guys. Uh, in fact, yes, I will die if they attack me. Let's just hope they attack me with this spearman, stupidly, instead of this uh, this swordsman. Although, I, I really doubt... Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna kill me. That, it's, that sucks. Uh, other than that, we're exploring with this guy down here. And... Yeah, we're just moving on. So, here we go. Alright, they're attacking us here. Shouldn't do much damage to us. In fact... Oh, well, that did quite a bit, actually. Uh-oh. Alright, you're fine. Um, yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. I'm not sure how much he had before that, but he's at 63 right now. Which... Kinda sucks. Yep, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wow, alright, never mind. That just, uh, completely wet my guy out immediately. We're gonna run over here. And we are going to, in Sparta, build another swordsman. I think it's very, very important that we uh, continue to put pressure on these barbarians because barbarians have a very high spawn rate. It is just a way of life in Civilization VI. It, it sucks because we have to defend <laughs> all of our cities who may come under attack by, by these hordes. But uh, I, I still like it. I mean, it sucks, but I still like it, you know? Uh, we still need iron, right? That is a problem, but we can build pikemen, actually, so we might as well do that. Claim a great person. We can claim a great scientist. Emily de Châtelet, uh, which triggers the Eureka moment for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial Era. That is perfect. Uh, where are you? Way up here. All right, let's go over here and go ahead and activate your effect. Okay, so we got a Eureka towards industrialization, which is absolutely perfect. Gunpowder, again, very, very good. And sanitation. Alright, let's take a look, though, at those techs, because I was I was hoping to go up to gunpowder very, very soon. In fact, that's why I was building the armory, uh, to boost gunpowder. But now that that's done, there's no need. Uh, in fact, it's technically not boosted, so if we build an armory, that'll boost it even more, won't it? I think it will, which is crazy. Uh, we also have industrialization and sanitation, which puts us right up to the modern era, essentially. That is perfect. Okay, well, we're still working on castles, which is going to be five turns from now. But then, I think we go up into gunpowder. Uh, well, no, because I want to build an encampment. An encampment first. Now, I have to decide here, because I was just reading. I, I figured this out in uh, post-processing of the last video. Alhambra, which is right here. Uh, needs to be built on a hill adjacent to an encampment. So if we go into this, because it's easier to see hills. Um, oh, that's a hill right there. So if we build the encampment, say, right here. Actually, you know what? The encampment should be facing this way. Because I, I am going to guarantee that another barbarian encampment is going to spawn somewhere out here. Um, so if we put the encampment, say, on... I don't know. Um, this tile right here then, yeah, any one of these could be the um, the wonder. So I, I quite like that. Let's do that. Uh, let's take a look here. I just want to make sure I can place it on this hill. I can. And then again, like I said, we can put the uh, Alhambra right here. Okay. So we're moving over this way, capturing the settler while we're at it. And here, and here. I'm going to have you... You're going to have to kill him. And then you could just kill him, just to clean up the area. While you move down. Oh, 
Awesome. So, yeah, this guy's going to move down to this forest tile where he can then start sieging the city. Yeah, uh, the... Oh, that's Hannibal. I don't care about Hannibal. What? I don't... No, you guys are fine. Okay, yeah, you can fortify. I want... The... You can't do anything. I, I don't know what else you want me to do here. Sit. I... I don't... Stop. I don't want to talk to you right now. I want the settler. Not you. Alright, yeah. These crossbowmen are coming in really, really handy here. They are so freaking powerful against these barbarians. And they will be even more powerful once they level up uh, in quite a while, actually. So that's not going to really matter for a while. But, you know, it, they're still very, very strong. These catapults are not going to stay alive for much longer, uh, because, they, I mean, they're very, very weak. Okay, uh, she wants to give us marble, horses, gold per turn, 30, uh, 6 gold per turn, and peace. Nope, sorry. You can make peace after Birmingham, but not right now. Alright, a uh, recent news article revealed that Norway is trading with England. That is not okay, actually. Uh, can I, can I get away? I don't know if I can get away from this. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, Scythia has denounced the evil deeds of Russia. Very nice. A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. All right, and we discovered uh, naval tradition, which is a civic. So we have naval infrastructure, 100% harbor district adjacency bonuses, and great admiral points per turn. Now, I don't think we're changing anything out right now. In fact, yeah, no, we're fine. Where are we going next? I mean, there's probably only one option. I really would... I, I don't... Yeah, go up to uh, Divine Right. Because Monarchy, I think, is the next step for us in government. We're an oligarchy. And I do want to go into something that has more military than anything else. So that would be Monarchy. Uh, we have two housing in any city with medieval walls and bonus influence points. Is that what I want? Yeah, I think so. It's not really a great bonus, but could be worse. Send an envoy out. We're going to send you out to... Uh, well... I would like Kumasi, but somebody did tell... Oh, dang it. No, sorry. Uh, somebody did tell me that Kumasi had freshwater lake. Sadly, that's an oasis. Uh, I was going to take over Kumasi just for that reason, so I could build the Hui Tiukali. Which is somewhere... Uh, right here. Yeah, Huey Tiokali, which can only be built on a lake uh, and must be built on a coast, actually. Interesting. Oh, wait, no. Must be built on a lake, must be built on a coast. Wait a minute. Does it have to be... Well, yeah, I guess it has to be on a lake and a coast. A coast of a lake. Which I would imagine this would be, but I guess not. I... Hang on. Wait a minute. No suitable location. The way that's worded in the description here is kind of strange. I mean, no matter what, this wouldn't do much for us because we don't have a lake to really effectively use, he, you know, Huey Tiukali. I just wanted to build it because it looks, you know, Aztec-y because it's, it's an Aztec building, but it, it, we have no lakes. I need to move you down this way. But first and foremost, you need to attack this guy because I don't want to lose him. And I think I'm probably going to. Actually, he would live if he got attacked once more. So put you over here so you at least get some defensive bonus. And then let's just hope for the best. Uh, while you will just charge up and kill these guys. Alright, uh, Amsterdam made peace with uh, Harold. Interesting. And Harold made peace with Victoria. They were a war? I don't remember. Huh. Uh, well, Amsterdam... Let's make peace. There we go. Oh, the set... Yeah, the settler needs to move. Get out of here. Because you're screwing up these people here. So, you're going to sleep. You're going to sleep. And you are going to fortify. 
And fortify. Okay, uh, kill him. And run away. This spearman, uh, you know what, discover the coastline over here first before you leave, and then uh, we'll go, uh, we'll probably actually head back up to this location, because this uh, horseman, I, I probably won't be able to catch him unless he attacks me, so I'm just going to stay in the area. I don't want to have him come up here and pillage something. Uh-oh. Uh, that is not good. Let's come down this way and actually help out... Uh, the swordsman. The silent dead. Oh! It looks like we made it. They didn't attack my, uh, my partisan jaguars over here. That is freaking awesome. Now, oh, I can actually name you. The flying phantoms. Nope. The holy irons. Uh, the walking irons. Orphan river irons. No. Red... Yeah, we randomized that. The terrible giants. There we go. Okay, and, well, attack. I don't need these guys causing problems. Speaking of problems... I may have just screwed him. <laughs> by moving... Well, no, they didn't attack me last time. I'm gonna hope they don't attack me again. Because I don't think I'd survive. No, probably not. Um, while you can't move here, we can promote you. So we might as well. Let's do... Uh, grape Shot would be 7 combat strength versus land units. Or Crew Weapons would be 7 combat strength when defending. Now, where's the one that actually allows us to attack cities with more oomph, essentially? Really? There's none? The Catapult cannot be upgraded to attack cities with more damage? Really? That's a little insane, actually. I'm going to come down to Grape Shot, because land units, obviously, we're going to be battling those, so. That's actually, that's very strange. I don't... Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, in Rio, we're going to build a... Uh, university, or, well, maybe an Ancient Walls. It is out in the middle of nowhere. If barbarians come over here, I want to make sure that I am defended. Okay, and... Yeah, just for now, just do that. This settler. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to put him, actually. I could, in fact, do what I wanted to do and bring him up here somewhere. But it wouldn't necessarily be worth it. Maybe over here? Well, at the very least, let's have you sit in Atska. And then from here, we can decide if we want to go north or to the east. You, however, need to continue to run away. <laughs> actually. Hmm. Let's switch you guys. It's probably going to be a little bit easier for me. Alright. Actually, he moved right up next to us, so kill him, please. Alright, so that should be it for the barbarians in this region over here. That doesn't mean that they can't spawn another encampment. That just means that, well, they're done for now. And I like that. So what we're going to do with you now is head up this way. Anything else? Yep, you're being attacked. You better not be attacked by those horsemen. Come on. Oh, damn it. Hmm. So those guys are taken care of. That actually makes things a hell of a lot easier for me. No! God damn it! They have crossbowmen now. Came out of the fog and killed my spearmen. God damn it, this whole skirmish just turned inside out. We were doing so freaking well. That pisses me off. God damn it. Well, once we get the spearmen, or the pikemen rather, coming up here again, they're, they're done. I am absolutely freaking done with these barbarians. Alright, uh, Atsuka, you're gonna build us an amphitheater. The first one. Which will give us a... Hang on. That will give us... Uh, come on, let me see the stats. Please. And thank you. No? Alright. Uh, and we can't even see it up here. Come on. 
Show me what this does. God damn it. I don't understand right now. It's ridiculous. All right, amphitheater. Two culture, one citizen slot, one great writer point uh, per turn, and two great works of writing slots. Perfect. You are still running away. Just one more tile. That's fine. You can heal there, and then you can come back to Birmingham. You probably need to attack this guy to stay alive. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's not going as well as I wanted it to, but that's only because these guys have been sieging Toronto and are now switching focuses to attack my incoming forces. Uh, which is fine. I, I understand that, obviously. It's just going to be a little bit longer to get into position, but we got this. Really? Really? I, I don't... I don't understand that. Like, truthfully, I don't understand that because... Well, hang on, let me do this first. Uh, Coco for Ivory and Dyes. You're gonna give me just three gold after that? A hundred? Hmm, ninety-one. Oh, that's all he has. You did give me your best offer, I guess. Which was... Three. Ah, yeah, except four. The game lags on this screen. I think I have... I changed some settings on accident uh, with... Um, in fact, it was GeForce Experience that changed it on accident. And it, it did GeForce anti-aliasing, uh, which might be causing this screen to be all funky, so I'm gonna have to change things around. So it'll accept six with open borders, Coco. I, 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 fine, I'll take the Coco. It's an extra uh, luxury resource. That's fine. I don't like giving you two of my resources, though, for that, because that's a little unbalanced. Uh, Norway is trading with the Aztecs. Okay, yeah, what, really? Really, I, I, I didn't know that? <laughs> um, yeah, we lost our freaking catapult. So, Toronto can attack one of these catapults and do, what, like, ten damage? But, Birmingham... We can no more have exact religious thinking without theology than exact mensuration and astronomy without mathematics, or exact iron-making without chemistry. Yeah, fine. Whatever. I'm not... I'm kind of pissed off right now, because Birmingham attacked my catapult and did more damage than Toronto's been doing to these catapults, and killed it outright. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. All right, either way, we discovered theology, which gives us a temple, a Mahabadi temple, and uh, scripture, none of which I will be using. Let's... Uh, okay, yeah, we're already doing Divine Right. Perfect. Send that envoy out to... Wait, did I not do this last time? I thought I... Okay, maybe... Yeah, I, I forgot to do this. Okay. Uh, Brussels. Oh, send two. Sure. There we go. Now we're Suzerain of Brussels, and it looks like they have a Barbarian over here. I'm hoping that's just a remnant of this guy, but I don't know. We should still be okay to kill this guy uh, pretty easily with this crossbowman. We are on a hill, so we have defense. Oh, let's hope. Alright, what is this? War? Oh, Brussels, right. Let's move this way. We're gonna need to build another um, catapult here. Which would cost... 13 turns, or... 480 gold. Ah, oh, that's so ridiculous. Vilnius, how much would it cost you to build it? Nine turns. No matter what, we're going to spend a lot of time working on this thing. Either just... Oh, four turns here. Okay, after the, the pikemen, build me that catapult. Four turns. We don't even have a road from Sparta down here, though, so... We're going to have to get in the water, which is probably going to be the fastest route over here again. It's going to take some time. But at the very least, we'll be, you know, gaining experience sitting around the city being bombarded. <laughs> so, you know, there are upsides to everything. Except for this. Oh, wait. He's okay. Uh, shh, Jesus.
What the hell's going on here? Wait a minute, what the what the hell was that? A French scout killing something uh, a, a horseman of some kind. Are they at war with uh, Victoria? Holy shit. I do have to check here. Oh, an inspiration towards civil engineering because we dis because we uh, constructed many types of different districts. Cool. Rocks in my path. I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. And we discovered castles, which gives us medieval walls and Alhambra, which we are absolutely going to build. Uh, but I just want to check here. Shit. I'm going to start running away. I don't like how this area turned out. This is ridiculous. Uh, but no, I wanted to check if you're at war. Where's uh, Catherine? Are you at war with... No, you just denounced her. You're not at war yet. Hmm. Okay. City-state quest complete. You completed a quest for Toronto, earning a envoy. Okay. That would put us up to four in this city. So we're actually really, really close to getting six with Brussels and Toronto. Uh, and we increased our trade route capacity. Very nice. We're going to build another trade route. Uh, somewhere. Probably down in Fortaleza. Research. So I think what we're going to do now is head straight on into... Oh. Well, I did want gunpowder. But, for the time being, we can work on astronomy, I guess. Doesn't really do much to us here. We can build a Patala Palace, but I don't think I'm going to. I just want to open up options for uh, the Industrial Era. While I wait for gunpowder to be boosted even more. Lighthouse in the city. Or... Yes, a lighthouse in the city. Well, actually, if I move here, I can't be attacked. Or can I? I can, because this is not... Just, just heal. That's your best option right now. Your only option right now. Come on. Son of a bitch. Ugh. You know, England. I am so freaking done with you. Y you're not just going to get killed. You're going to be eradicated. I am absolutely goddamn done <laughs> with this shit. Yeah. Thank God I actually chose to run away. Because if I had stayed, I would have gotten attacked. The great ball court is also very impressive. I would like to have seen them play a game, although it sounds like the end was pretty violent. I think it was safer to be a spectator. All right, so we have Chichen Itza built in the capital, which is absolutely great. Uh, but what I was going to say was, thank God I did run away with my crossbowman, because if I had stayed, I would have got attacked, and then I would have had to run away again, which they could have probably attacked me from there. So, either way, we have Chichen Itza, which looks amazing where it is right now. Awesome. All right, so that gives us a couple different things. Let's look at it in here, actually. So, Chichen Itza. Why can't you look at freaking stats in this? Oh... Sorry, I'm complaining, I know. People don't like that. But I have to complain so that the word gets out there that things are not completely right with this game. The UI needs to be improved. It really does. You might disagree with me, but from what I'm seeing, it needs to be improved. Alright, Chichen Itza, where was that? That was back in here. I'm sorry, I'm just blind. It's in guilds. Uh, Chichen Itza gives us two culture to all rainforest tiles for the city, and one production to all rainforest tiles... Uh, in the city, right. A redundant sentence, but yeah, that's fine. Uh, so two culture and one production for every single rainforest. So that that's quite a bit. Quite a damn bit. Okay, now it's time for the encampment, which is going to be built, like I said, over here. And then the uh, Alhambra, right here. Okay, we lost Suzanne's status over Brussels, because we're this apparently is being contested by... Uh, oh, Scythia as well. Really? So where the f... You must be up here somewhere. There must be another continent somewhere out here where she can actually influence Brussels. Do you want to tell me where you live? <laughs> I really want to know. 
Not interested. Yeah, you know, I'm tired of hearing that. I really am. <laughs> Oh, man. Medieval walls, which will increase the strength by 50. No, I need the catapults. Pikemen, get your butt up here. Okay. Need more amenities in Rio, actually. Really? That's interesting. Minus one. Hmm. Well, you're, yeah, you're at nine population. We're going to start running out of amenities in... Well, you have three. You also have the Entertainment District. I don't I don't know what else to tell you. I could build an Entertainment District eventually. After the walls, maybe? Um, no. I can't, because I need population 10. Which is going to be in 20 turns from now. <laughs> That's quite a long time. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll, we'll think of something. Uh-oh. Nope. Screw off. I am not seeking your counsel anymore. You, there's no there's no peace after this. There is absolutely no peace. You've pissed me off. Alright, well, with that said and done, uh, I think I'm going to have to end the episode right here. And the next episode, hopefully we start sieging goddamn Birmingham. I can move this guy back in here eventually... Start sieging this. Before I go, though, I will do this. Which does not actually give me more health. I didn't realize that. <sighs> I'm just so done right now. I, I really am. I like the money, but I wanted health. God damn it. All right. Um, You're probably dead. I don't know what else to tell you. I I'm losing so many freaking swordsmen here. <sighs> Pain in my butt, England is. Uh, either way, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.